you have just purchased a Godox ML60. Oh, I'm so jealous. And by the way, congratulations. Are you tired of being limited to using just this softbox that only fits the proprietary Godox mount? Well, check this out, guys. I have here a huge parabolic 55 inch softbox here. I was gonna show you the front of the slide here to give you an idea how huge this thing is and how super heavy that thing is. I'm actually gonna back that out. I'm gonna show you guys how huge this thing is. So initially the main purpose of this adapter here is to accommodate speed lights such as the Canon 600 EXRT and you simply remove the flash this way here and then to accommodate the ML60 here just screw it all the way out and simply remove this piece right here that's all it is then you come here and attach the light right here and that's it this thing will break most stands or most light mounts because it is so freaking heavy. So if I turn it that way, I'm gonna hit my light. If I turn this way, I'm gonna hit my boom here, in which is holding the shotgun microphone. And since this is extremely heavy, you don't have to worry about a thing because the ML60 is just floating here. There's no stress whatsoever on the light. The actual adapter is holding all the stress. And I'm removing the light, as you can see, all the uh, stress has been held by this adapter. And why isn't anybody making a video of this? It's so simple, it's gonna help you guys so much and I'm glad that I uh, finally decided to do this video here. So I'm gonna put the light back here very slowly because that's my baby. And everything that's touching your ML60 is made of high quality rubber and you don't need to over tighten anything. It's just a little twist here the rubber has a very strong grip, so your light is not going anywhere. And again, there's no stress whatsoever going in the light here. And as you can see, you can also run this light with a V-mount battery because it accepts up to 16.8 volts. And the D-tap supplies just that 16.4, 16.6 volts. Now, if you really must take this type of setup here outdoors, you can obviously use your battery compartment here that came with this unit here. But as you can see, it's limited to the belt clip, so somehow you have to hang this somewhere there. The other option, of course, is to actually plug it in the wall and the third option is the actual v-mount battery here i usually run this because it's gonna last a long time it's much better than two little sony batteries so this particular setup here for a few bucks on amazon you can actually buy just a v-mount battery holder in which is gonna attach to the uh, stand here and you can also put the battery here run the tap and good to go this one here you have to somehow slide is somewhere but if you're using this light now for big lights like this uh, keep in mind that this is only a 60 watt light and 60 watts can only do so much by cutting through all these diffusions here but you can also use a small soft box but the point is is that you want to try to get rid of the uh, limitation of the uh, proprietary Godox mount. There you go. So Godox makes this adapter here. This is the Godox S2 and are you ready for the price? $25 that's it this thing should cost a hundred i didn't say anything the entire construction of this thing here from every thread every piece of uh, aluminum here steel is so high-end i can't believe this only costs 25 dollars and the uh, anatomy of the thing is very simple pretty much what you do is just to press you see there's a, an actual ring there and this screws in like this here put your light back in here you don't need to over tighten that's it, this light is not going anywhere. Now, this thing is incredibly strong. Whatever blue material that they put in here, I wish the uh, Godox SL60W came with this. As a matter of fact, the uh, VL200, I think, uh, also comes with this type of material here. So this is incredibly amazing. One thing to be very careful, to never forget, never attempt to adjust the height or the angle of this thing by grabbing the ML60 itself because you probably will break something here or damage the light. You just grab it from here, don't touch the light, anywhere is good. It has plenty of reach here. You can actually put your fingers uh, in front of this ring here and easily adjust the light. And once this stops here, it's not going anywhere. There's no way this thing is gonna sag. And I'm just showing you guys the heaviest, the biggest modifier that I got, bonus mount, and this can go anywhere and it will stay. I don't care what you do, this is not moving. 
I'm super happy with this. So I hope this video was useful to you guys. I'm sure it has been. And if you care to give me a thumbs up, that tells me that I'm doing a good job here. All I'm doing is to share the good stuff with the rest of the uh, cinematography community. And if you want to comment anything, I'll make sure I respond to everything that I see there. So once again, thank you for checking out my video here and I'll see you next time.